let's DIY some nature-inspired spring and Easter decor. everyone, it's Christina from the DIYMommy.com. I can't believe that Easter is almost here. This spring, I've kind of felt like simplifying my decor, even though I'm essentially a decorating maximalist. I just felt like pulling back a little this season, but I still did want to add little nods to spring, especially for Easter coming up, but I really wanted to keep them simple and nature inspired. So I came up with a few DIYs for my decor that I think you're gonna really love. I was so happy with how these turned out. Ready to DIY? Let's get started. For this first one, let's create an Easter egg tree. You could also use this throughout the rest of the spring as well. Grab a vessel with a small opening up top and then you can grab real or faux pussy willow branches. I like using faux ones because I can manipulate the branches to make them look a little bit more like a tree by bending them. Next, grab some faux Easter eggs. I found these ones at Dollarama here in Canada and they had a little tie on top, which is what you want to do. Grab some Mod Podge as well as some pressed flowers and a brush. I found these pressed flowers hours on Amazon and I will link them down in the description box below. Now you're going to take your brush and dip it in Mod Podge and apply the Mod Podge to the egg. Now take your favorite pressed florals and add those on top of the Mod Podge. So I'm going to put florals on each side of my egg. So on this side I'm putting this little fern here. Once you've pressed the floral down onto the egg, take some more Mod Podge and apply that on the top to seal it up and make sure that it adheres to the egg. Once you've applied florals to both sides of your egg, you can hang it up on top of your pussy willow branches to dry. Now you can just repeat this with all of the rest of the faux eggs, adding your desired pressed flowers to each side of the egg. I love these pinks, purples, and greens in this pack that I got. I think they look so beautiful for Easter and spring. Once you've hung all of your eggs to dry, they should take about two hours or so to dry. Then you can arrange them how you want them on the stems and use them as a centerpiece on your Easter table or really anywhere in your home. You could do different sorts of decorated eggs for this as well and get your kids involved. The possibilities are endless for this really cute Easter DIY. Next, let's make a dried flower wreath. Now you can find these at expensive stores for a couple hundred dollars, but we're gonna make one for about $30 Canadian. I had this grapevine wreath base on hand and I found this bundle of dried florals on the left from HomeSense and Lux Bee Pompous Grass gave me the ones on the right. You're going to want to create bundles for this wreath. So I'm grabbing a variety of different dried flowers for this and creating about a six to eight inch long bundle. Make sure you stagger the lengths of each of the dried flowers or foliage in the bundle and kind of gather them like this. Once you have a bundle that you love, take some floral wire and wrap it around the bundle as well as the wreath form and twist it really tightly to make sure everything stays in place. You can wrap the loose ends of the wire around the wreath just like this. Now go ahead and create more bundles. You can kind of make them a little bit different each time, but just make sure again to add a variety of different dried florals, stagger the lengths and make them really interesting. For this one, I'm adding these beautiful little dried star flowers and some more of the same colors that I've used before. Then just repeat like you did with the first bundle, gather everything up and attach it to the wreath form base. 
You're going to want to stagger it slightly over the previous bundle a few inches so you don't see the stems and the wires from the previous bundle. Then grab your floral wire, wrap it around the bundle and the wreath form and twist it tightly. Repeat this all the way around the wreath until you have space for only one more bundle. Create your final piece here, and then you're going to want to tuck it underneath the first bundle you added and overlap it over the last one. Attach it to the wreath base just like you did all of the other ones. If you notice that you have any holes in your design, you can take any leftover dried flowers and place them in any of the holes. The nice thing about the grapevine wreath base, it's a really great texture to put any extra stems in and it should hold them really well. Now you're all done. I love how this wreath looks. It's so natural and beautiful. And I think I'm gonna keep this up in my living room right up until fall this year. We're gonna do one final DIY. I took a trip to one of my favorite antique stores here where I live and I love just browsing it. To me, this looks really Easter-y, so I think we could do some kind of Easter centerpiece with this. This basket I thought was perfect for the centerpiece idea I wanna do. I'm just wiping it clean. You can really use any sort of basket or kind of low and wide piece for this. Grab some moss from the dollar store and some planted tulips. Add the tulips onto a little plate to make sure it holds all of the water and put all of the moss around. I'm adding this little painted dollar store mini birdhouse and then also some faux ferns. I love mixing real greenery, dried greenery, and faux greenery all together for a budget-friendly look with a ton of texture and that's what we're gonna do here. Add all of your faux ferns around the basket. I also have this pick that I got from Michaels a few years ago and I'm pulling the little spotted eggs off of them and placing those around the flowers and the house as well. I think the centerpiece would look great for Easter but also throughout the rest of spring. I'm also pulling the little tiny leaves off of these picks and adding them to my arrangement as well. Next, you can grab some dried flowers. I grabbed these sweet little dried star flowers and I'm adding them into the arrangement. These were kind of a last minute touch and I'm so glad I added them. The tiny little scale is I think what this arrangement needed because there's so many big things, middle sized things, and these tiny little flowers are just perfect for this Easter or spring arrangement. This is so cute for the center of your Easter table on a side table or even a gift for a neighbor or a loved one. Thank you so much for watching this video today. I hope you enjoyed these spring and Easter inspired DIYs. I'd love to hear which of these was your favorite. Let me know down in those comments below. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more DIY and decor ideas on a budget. I'm gonna leave some more videos that I hope you will enjoy and watch next right up here.